Hello and welcome to this video on the IUPAC nomenclature of esters. So first of all let's understand what esters are. Now esters are where a hydrocarbon chain group is attached to a group like this. Now this part has two alkyl group attached, one here and one here. And these two groups may be same, may be different. Now let's understand how we are going to name them. Now remember this part C double bond O and O both are attached to two similar or different alkyl groups or alkenyl groups or alkynyl groups. The naming is done by first looking at that let us say an alkyl group attached to O and calling it alkyl and appropriately if it is alkynyl you will call it alkynyl and this part is named similar to the acid. Now, how do you name this acid? This would be alkanoic acid. What you do is you remove this ic acid and you replace it with ATE. So, this becomes alkanoate. So, this totally would become alkyl alkanoate where this alkyl stands for this R prime and this alkanoate stands for this entire thing that means it includes the carbons of R as well as the C. So the first rule the alkyl group that is attached to the oxygen is named like a substituent using the aisle ending this is followed by a space the acyl portion of the name that is whatever is left over is named by replacing the ic acid suffix of the corresponding carboxylic acid with it. So if you have something like this then remember this will be named with the aisle ending and this is going to be named the way you would name the carboxylic acid only thing is it will end with it. So let us uh, check out a couple of examples and you will be able to understand. Name this and as usual we pause the video now and uh, write down the name as per you see it and then play it back to check your answer. So which is the R group attached to O? It is this. Now what would you call it? Methyl. And what kind of an acid is this? 1, 2, 3. Well it is 3, it is propanoic acid. So, methyl propanoate. So, the ic acid replaced by ATE. Try naming this one. Pause and then check your answer. What would you call this? Ethyl? And from which acid is this taken from? Benzoic acid? benzoate. So, it is ethyl benzoate. Try naming this again. Now, what do you would, what would you call this one? It is tert butyl. And again, this is taken from benzoic acid. Tert butyl benzoate. And now, let us take something which is very complex, which has got lot of double and triple bones and that will help you clarify how to name under various other situations. So, I am going to give you a very complicated one and it is going to take some time. So, pause the video now, take your time, name it and then check your answer. But before you do that, please ensure that you have checked, you have taken all possible care to write the name correctly by looking into the right parent chain in each case. Alright, so let us start naming it. First of all, I want to know what is the alkyl part. Obviously, it is the one that is attached to O. It is this part. 
this entire thing this entire thing is your alkyl part okay so let's figure out what is the parent here now when you have to number this this has to be the one so this is one so you have to start numbering from here so the parent chain should be first of all the one which has maximum number of multiple bonds now if i go through this chain i see three multiple bonds two double and one triple if i were to look at this chain again i have got two double and one triple but i'm sure you can see that it is this chain which has maximum number of carbon atoms the second thing that we need to check so the parent is this so the numbering is done this way 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the side chain for this one and oh sorry i'm going to number the other part now 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the side chain 1 2 3 4 so what is the alkyl part write the substituents first this is methyl this is methylidene and what will you talk about this one this is going to be but 1n3 inyl so it's going to start with this one so it's going to be 5 5 but 1n3 inyl and on position number 2 you have methyl 2 methyl 3 methylidene deca 4 8 di n 6 i 9 3 3 7 tri methyl oct 6 n 4 i no 8 but 1 n 3 i nile 2 methyl 3 methylidene deca 4 8 diene 6 i nile 3 3 7 trimethyl oct 6 n 4 i no 8 so this is the way we name esters i hope this video helps you in understanding how esters are named if there are any are the questions that you have any queries that you have i would request you to drop them in the comment section below and thanks for watching this video